My name is Rachel Morrison and I'm the cinematographer on Black Panther. I had to start by kind of familiarizing myself with comic books and superhero movies and Marvel films. Like that was so not my wheelhouse that for me it was like a page one, you know, okay, first how, how do you read, what's the language of a comic book and how do you read it? Well, for one thing, I think part of the reason Ryan was drawn to me is because it was in my wheelhouse and he wanted to do something that was very different and not, you know, just sort of straight down the middle superhero movie. So all of his references, for the most part, weren't other superhero films. They were films like Samsara and Baraka and, and we looked at Planet Earth. But they're all very grounded in humanity, you know. And, and then the story of family, we looked at, you know, Godfather and we looked at Prophet, which is kind of one of our favorite films that we sort of keep coming back to. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. We definitely knew which, which scenes were going to be IMAX. So we were composing for 239 for the rest of the film and for the IMAX moments, we were composing for 190. We looked for interesting battle sequences and, you know, fight sequences to make the, the transition to IMAX. I mean, the hope is that it, it puts you even more in the moment and that it feels very sort of tactile and visceral and vertical and you're sort of immersed in this experience. I think Black Panther has a little bit of everything. It's, you know, an action movie, but it comes down to people and places and humanism, and it's not just about selling a good fight scene. But it's got it all. It's got awesome car chase, it's got battle scenes, it's got really intimate and human moments. I think it really, it touches on a little bit of everything.